Hello and welcome back to episode 4 of Capture the Flag Across Japan. We're about to start the third and final round of the game, where the board has been expanded to cover the whole country, and each team has three flags to capture. The round is over when one team has scored all of their opponent's flags, or at the end of 20 hours, where the team that has scored the most flags wins. If at the end of 20 hours, both teams have scored the same number of flags, then the round goes to whichever team has transported unscored flags the most total distance towards the center. This round's three points are worth a lot. Right now, the score is 3 0. That means that if Ben and Adam win, they'll win the whole thing, but if Scotty and I win, the game is tied and will go to our sudden death tiebreaker round. It's still anybody's game, and it all comes down to this. All right, jet laggers, ready for round three? Let's do it. All right, we'll start it in three, two, one, let's go. All right, let's go, Adam. We don't have a lot of coins. So but I'm going to go grind challenges to start, and we're going to send Adam for the near flag. Yeah, because I do have enough to get to that. So I'm going to look up how to get there and then just make a beeline. Oh, they're not even looking at us. Okay, so we Let's turn just around. Go down. So, Scotty, the um, last couple of rounds didn't exactly go our way. Yeah, I was pretty demoralized at the end of last round, yeah. I have to say. And the thing is, like, there, there's not, like, one moment from yesterday, at least, that's like, this is where we lost. No! It. it was just, like, our fundamental strategy was wrong. Yes. I think we want to kind of be more responsive to what they do. I think so. Especially considering this is going to be a long round. I think um, so. You know, it's not going to be a speed run. So I think we want to kind of just wait, see what they're doing. I mean, they were booking it, so I wonder if they're, yeah. they're running to catch a train. All right, here we go. All right, let's see how to get to the flag. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, the Chuo line, the Chuo line. Where the f is that? We're just gonna go one and stop into enemy territory and start pulling challenges. So we want to go to platform six right up here. Platform one. Platform one. That's for Omi. Oh. Oh. Oh, incredible. Okay. Sam and Scotty still at Tokyo Station. Tick tock, boys. Better get a move on. Hey, so they split up. Adam seems to be on the train to the second flag. Ben went south. He's he's headed towards Shinagawa. I don't know exactly which train he's on yet. Do you? What do you think? Should I maybe get ready for a run to the second flag then? Because uh, they seem to be both going somewhat offensive. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so I'll get on the platform ready for a run, and then I'll see you in a bit. Or well, we'll talk in a bit. Okay, bye. All right, so I have a train in about 20 minutes that I could take to our second flag. So I'm just gonna sit around here and try to learn a little bit more about what Ben and Adam are doing based on train times and stuff. Okay, hello. I'm gonna shuffle, 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 and then we're gonna pull one. Find a Maneki Neko. Find any Maneki Neko and take a photograph of it. Any statue or figurine of a cat with a raised paw counts. That I can hopefully do. These Maneki Nekos, these are like a thing, I guess, that are popular in Japan. They're like these cat statues that like go like this. And then sometimes their paw goes like that. I don't really know where I would go to find one, but maybe like a restaurant or something. All right, so Ben is down at Shim Shimbashi Station. Um, I'm not really, he must be doing challenges, I guess. Um, so maybe Scotty should go after him. Let me call Scotty. So Ben is down at Shimbashi Station, I assume doing challenges. That's exactly where I caught him yesterday. I wonder if it makes sense for you to go after him. See if you can tag. That's exactly what I was trying to figure out. Okay. See if you can tag him. And if you did tag him, maybe then you would have a really good window to get the Tokyo flag, um, or at least go towards it with him in jail at Tokyo okay. Station. That seems like a good opportunity. Okay, I'll do that. Go 
going to Shimbashi Station, take the JR line here, and it's go, go, go. Be there in 10 minutes. Just gonna keep my eyes peeled, because these things could be anywhere. Um. Oh my God. This is, okay, I found one. Okay, okay, challenge complete. I have to pull the second challenge because we need points desperately. Half one. Collect three items from Mario Kart. Your options are banana peel, mushroom, big yellow star, shell, bullet, bomb, boomerang, coin, squid, feather, Venus flytrap. No duplicates. Collect three Mario Kart items. Let's check where Ben is. Oh, great. Ben is way far away from the station. Feel really good about this. Ben, here I come. Let's make sure that I'm safe. Uh. Oh. Uh. Okay. Well, actually, it looks like Scotty's coming after me. All right. It's about ten minutes until that Shinkansen, so I'm gonna get to the platform. Scotty's getting close, I like this. Now he's getting ready to run, probably. Scotty will never find. Oh, he's getting closer. So, here's the thing. The station I need to get out of here with is right there. Um, but Scotty's coming for me, so I think I just gotta give him the slip some other way. I gotta look for other stations. We're gonna go here. We're gonna tire Scotty out. Because I'm young and full of youthful vigor. Oh, I'm so tired already. I'm gonna take a right at the next alley. But I'm getting progressively closer, which is good. There's a subway up ahead. If I just hop on it and go like any direction, but especially maybe I should just reset to my safe territory and then I can really get some distance on him. Oh good, there's a pass through. I've got options. This is the station we have to go to. Scotty's already probably figured out that I'm going this way, but that's okay. Oh crap, he's headed for a station. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the pace. I should be close. Okay, I think that this is going back into my territory. It's kind of could be here any second. I hope he hasn't already got my train. All right, this is a train. As long as Scotty doesn't get here, I'm good. That's a train coming. Crap. Oh my god, oh my god, this is... Give me last time, give me last time. That's Ben. Ben. Hi.
All right, let's get off. Oh. <laughs> All right, back to Tokyo Station. Let's go, Scotty. Let's go. Incredible. That's so good. So good. See you in a bit. Tokyo flag, here it come. And not right with him. All right. Time to transfer to the Tamagawa line for Korimasa. Tamagawa line. There we go. Tamagawa line. No problem. It's weird. I have to leave the station. Tamagawa line. Tamagawa line. Where the hell's the Tamagawa line? Oh, no. Ben got tagged. Shoot. Okay. And I can't find the damn Tamagawa line. Tamagawa. Tamagawa. Cebu Tamagawa. What the hell? Where's the... Is it this? This is orange. Is this what I want? Kor Kormasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kormasa. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Yep, 842, that's me. All right. Oh, Ben. All right, it is 916, which means that I am back in the game. Um, it looks like Scotty's going for the near flag, but it's gonna be a really tough one to defend because um, they're like a million routes back to Tokyo. Now, most of them go through this station called Kita Senju. Um, not all of them, but most of them. So if I go there, I've got my, the best chance of intercepting him. And hopefully if he takes one that's not going through there, I'll have time to switch and cut him off. So I'm gonna go there and stake him out there. And hopefully I can get him before he gets back. A very nice lady on a bicycle just said hello to me. It's not something we've seen a lot of yet, but it, uh, it's always it's always fun. People are always welcoming and uh, and eager to to test out their English, even if it is only hello. So Sam says that uh, Ben is after me, which makes sense, I guess. I'm almost at the flag. Oh, I see it. It's on the other side of the road. Okay. So Coca-Cola. Okay, right, hang on, I gotta figure out a change. Yep, we're good. Okay, Dr. Pepper acquired, headed back to the station. Boat. All right, let's go. Just like seven minute run to the flag. Should be easy. Let's go to the flag, which by the way, seems as far as I can tell to serve a chicken intestine stew. So that's cool. very charming over here. That's fun. Okay, one thing that drives me insane about this country is that like you can't jaywalk. Like nobody jaywalks. Even though I'm all good. Like I live in New York City. Every bone in my body is screaming at me to go. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Should be coming up on it. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, you can 
Oh, you can smell. You can smell that that is chicken intestine stew. Uh, for sure. Fourth one. Oh God, that is for sure. That is chicken intestine stew for sure. So now here's the plan. I'm down to like 410 coins, so I'm gonna go ahead and at least pull a challenge, see if it's something that's easy to do, like on my way over the line. Because if I could just earn a few more coins, I could have enough money to buy a tower for when I defend, and I do think that that would be useful. Okay, I'm out of the neutral zone now, uh, so I'm gonna pull a challenge. All right, quick shuffle, and... See a great wave. View any wave and remark upon how great it is. It may be a real wave or a depiction, though the depiction may not come from anything traveling with you or a digital device. If you see the wave while in Kanagawa, the reward is doubled. Okay. Okay, while I run, I'm just gonna look for anything that might have a depiction of a wave. No waves. No waves yet. Okay, here's a vending machine. Maybe it has a wave in it. We're on it. Oh, that's a wave. It's a great wave. All right, I've sent a picture to the group. Sam and Scotty have both agreed that that is a depiction of a wave. Let's pull another challenge. All right. Cursed, you are now Hello Kitty. You cannot advance in the game until you find or create a pink bow and put it on. Once you find the bow, you must wear it for the next two hours. You cannot talk to or text anyone other than the camera for that period of time. Cursed. Ooh. All right, I gotta go figure out a way to make a pink bow. All right, I can still talk to you, but to no one else. I can't text Ben. All right, so it looks like Scotty made it back to the station. So the question's gonna be, is he gonna go towards me or is he gonna try and go around? We're just gonna wait and see what he does. Well, crap. <laughs> Sam says don't go that way. <sighs> Which way should I go then, question mark? I think he said go on that train that I, that's arriving now, crap. Let's see if I can get it. Okay. Talk about last minute change, jeez. All right, it looks like he's going around, so I have to go around and try and cut him off the other way. I think I have time, but I gotta hurry. I think this line goes all the way to Tokyo Station. Okay, that's good. We'll probably just stay on this. Okay, so I just got off here in Hachibori. I am gonna be able to get on Scotty's train. It's gonna arrive right on this platform in a couple of minutes. It's gonna be a little hairy, but that's good content, so I'm gonna try. <laughs> Sam says to get off in Nishi Funabashi. Okay. Yeah, there's some good options. I like the subway option. That's pretty good, the Tozai line. Okay, it looks like Scotty transferred trains, so I have to hop up one station. Okay, this should take him. Yeah. Yeah. I think I can block him off right there. I'm concerned that I don't really know where Ben is. His radius is super large on the track run. I think I want to go one more stop. Okay, now that I'm confident what station or what train he's on, I'm gonna move up towards him on the Tozai line. At least one or two more stations just to give me more time to catch him on the train. I cannot tell where he 
is. Light. Huge radius. No idea. Other than he's closer to me. Right. Yeah, get off the next stop. That's the best I can do. Let's take Ben on a hike. I am determined to let Ben catch me, even if I have to go to great lengths. I want to go to this station. Feel walking. I think Scotty's going for Shiomi Station. I have to get on, see if there's any way to cut him off. I think this line, the Oedo, something line will take me down and then I can go across and hopefully beat him to the punch. I just gotta make this train and I'm good. I see it. Spotty, you mother. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna make it. This is good. Really good. I think I made it home free. Scotty made it to Shiomi Station and he got on a train, which means I can't catch him. Well played, Scotty. You son of a gun. I made it back to Tokyo Station with the flag untagged. With one flag scored, we're starting this round in the lead, and better yet, Ben is stranded, Adam is stuck out here until he can make himself a pink bow, and I'm almost at our second flag. Scotty got back to Tokyo Station. We just got the first flag. This is looking up. Okay. I'm a super quick transfer from this local train to go like one or two stops to the flag. Um, so grab the flag and then I need to figure out how I'm getting back. Ooh. Ooh, that looks like a store of some kind. This seems like a promising place to make a pink bow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hair clip here. I did a, I did a little, I did a little sign language thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm now Hello Kitty. All right, let's go return this flag. Okay. for the first time today, this is great. So just got off of those little stop here, and I'm going a few blocks in to look for the cheesecake vending machine. And I have about 15 minutes until the next train back to the big station from there. So I gotta be quick because those trains only come every, every once in a while. I can pretty confidently say at this point that uh, we out here, you know? <laughs> this, is, uh, this is not Tokyo anymore. Pretty sure I see it already. That was easy. Like that, here's our flag. This is our flag. Now let's bring it back to Tokyo. 
the people are all staring at Hello Kitty. And there's, there's a guy across from me. I mean, he's not talking to anybody. He looks very upset with me. Only a few minutes to make my transfer. Kahin Toku line. Yeah, nice. Just a few minutes on this. Up to Omiya. Get on the Shinkinson. Definitely gonna be able to cut Sam off. It is incredibly quiet here, and I am incredibly conspicuous. Um, I don't get the sense that they have a lot of American vloggers come through here. Um, but it's really cool to just be in a spot like this that is like clearly super not touristy. I mean, who gets to come to places like this? Especially for work. All right, I've got like 10 minutes until my train. That's actually like kind of plenty. So heading back to the station now, heading back to the big Chinkinson station. Then I gotta figure out how I gotta get back. I've made it to Omiya Station. Um, I got 13 minutes to get on my Shinkansen. Okay. Okay. Let me just make sure. Platform 18, yep. Just in case I haven't explained what I'm doing, let me basically walk you through it. So, Sam is up here. Uh, that's a problem because this line goes over the midpoint up here at Takasaki. So I can't let, let him get there. So I'm riding the Shinkansen up. Hopefully I can get all the way up to like N Nagaoka uh, before he gets to where I am. Uh, hopefully that'll block him and make it so that he has to take, um, take regional lines back, which at the very least will slow him down a lot. And potentially I can kind of shift gears and go around and stop him on a neutral line too if I need to. So that is the plan. That is the plan. Uh, I think it should work. Time to go defend the flag. All right, Adam is officially headed my way. So I need to figure out a safe route back. back. These choke points really are killer. I was not expecting them to be this quite this hard to get around. But, uh, but yeah, it's like, if there was just a little bit more time to get past that choke point, I would have an option. But the problem is these Shinkansen lines are so fast that the regional lines around them, they're almost not worth anything because you can just take the Shinkansen up and down and up and down to cut off at the choke points on the regional lines. This is tough, I don't know. I don't really know how we're gonna get around this beyond just kind of brute force trying. Okay, I think I've got it figured out. And it's so complicated that I'm not even sure I can explain it right. And I'm not even sure if I have this right. It's very complicated. I think I have it figured out. This is like the one possible route out of a bajillion different ones. But if I've done it right, this will guarantee me safe passage but I'm honestly not sure. Oh. Oh. He would get there. 1158 after me. Wait a minute, so what does that mean? So what you'll see next episode is whether or not I can slip past this guy and make it back to Tokyo. Um, and it definitely gets exciting, in my opinion. I would argue that it is the most exciting 
thing that happens. It's, it's, it's the good way content. in which that all plays out. It was, yeah, it was honestly one of my favorite days of playing jet lag, yeah. like ever, actually. It was a really cool day. Um, so I'm excited for everyone to see it. Uh, you'll be able to see it next week up here on YouTube, or if you're never a subscriber, it's up now. Or if you're not an Nebula subscriber, um, you probably should be one. Um, why should they be a Nebula subscriber? It's Ben's turn to say oh, that this why time. Why should they be a Nebula subscriber? Well, in addition to getting to watch the show a week early, you also get access to our after show podcast called The Layover, where every week we get together with Scotty and we break down that week's episode. We go over, you know, all of the strategy and the what ifs and all of the implications going forward. Uh, I think that this week's episode is going to be really interesting um, because we were like super scared going into round three. Yes, None of us daunting. knew what we were doing. Yeah. I mean, all of the strategy of this game, like we really didn't know what we were doing. So like talking about how, you know, we made our plans going into round three and how they started to play out. Yeah. Um, we're all, we're getting to all of that, all of the nitty gritty in this week's episode of The yeah. Over. Tens of thousands of people listen every week. So it's clearly not terrible. It might be terrible if people listen to it anyway. Yeah, we don't yeah. know. Like, terrible but good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it could In like a fun anyway, way. Anyway, Nebula also has so much other incredible original content. Um, in addition to people posting their videos one week early, we have full-length documentaries. We have full-length actual literal movies. There are multiple original series from people like Real Engineering and Real Science and Real Life Lore. All of the reels are in there in addition to other people. I got the real market on lock. The real market is locked down on yeah. Nebula. It was built to be the best home for our content, and I genuinely do believe that it is. Yeah, and a lot of why that is, in my opinion, is because it's creator-founded and creator-run. And um, turns out that we might know how to make a better viewing experience for our audiences a little bit better than, like, private equity firms, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. So uh, so it was actually founded by myself and a bunch of my creator friends like four years ago. And uh, a lot of our approach going into it is we wanted to make it a better experience for the audience um, through all the kind of things we were just mentioned. Uh, by the way, I don't know if we even said, but, like everything's ad and sponsorship free. Oh yeah, did you yeah. say that? Yeah, no ads, no, ads no sponsorships, not even like an algorithm getting in the way of your viewing experience. It's really like content first, but it's also all a better experience for the creators too, um, like more sustainable and really just a business ecosystem that better supports them. One of the biggest aspects of that is that when you sign up using our code, nebula.tv slash jetlag, we actually get a portion of your subscription fee for as long as you stay subscribed, um, which gives us recurring stable monthly revenue that we can really rely on to reinvest in the show and make it bigger and better and cooler and greater and more frequently and everything, which is awesome. What was also awesome is that uh, if you sign up using our code, nebula.tv slash jetlag, uh, you'll actually get $20 off an annual subscription, which brings it down to like $30 a year or something. So that's like two and a half dollars a month. It's really not that expensive. It's like half of a latte per month. Um, and it really helps support us again. So um, so yeah, make sure to sign up, uh, click the button on screen or the link in the description. And thank you in advance for your support. Bye.